In this video, I'm going to show you how to take advantage of a feature called panning. It's pretty simple. It's just the ability to have content scroll inside of a box that's smaller than the content itself. And this can be done horizontally or vertically. You'll see it with large images, but you can also do it with text. This has been able to be done in Mag Plus for a while, but traditionally you had to use HTML to do it. As of 4.1, we've brought this back into InDesign, so I'll show you how to take advantage of it. Really easy to do. Here you can see I have a layout, the layout we were just looking at, and this is the image that I want to be able to scan, or pan as we call it. Sometimes we call it pan and scan. This is the one I want people to scroll right to left. So all I have to do to take advantage of that is draw my box here, the size that I want the box to appear. If we go back to Reflector app, you'll see what I mean. Let's go back to this page. You can see my box only is as wide as my uh, page here. But the image that I'm placing inside of this box, you can see here, is larger than the box itself. Once that's the case, I simply go to my object panel within the MagPlus plugin, select my box, and make sure I'm selecting that outer box, not the box for the picture inside of it, and then check the pan box. And that's really it. But I'll show you one other thing, which is how to create that scrolling text that we just saw before. So here I'm going to start with a blank page. I'm going to draw a text box. And I'll make it nice and long, because let's say we want to have a lot of text scrolling in place. And I'm just going to fill it with placeholder text, just so you get the idea. Now, in order to have an image pan, it has to be just that. It has to be an image. Text itself can't pan. So I need to turn this text into an image. And the reason I started here in InDesign is that InDesign is a little bit easier to set all of the text that you want, all the type properties that you want, your letting and your kerning and your fonts and all of those things. You could do this directly in Photoshop, but what I'm going to do is a little shortcut is set it here in InDesign. Now I'm going to just copy this. I'm copying this whole box. Now I'm going to go out here to Photoshop. I'm going to select File, New, and the file size that it's going to create is exactly the size I need for what I just copied to the clipboard. So all I have to do is click OK and then paste. And you'll see it's pasted this text in here. I double click to place it. Now I can just save this as an image and we'll just save it on my desktop and call it text. It can be a PNG or a JPEG. We'll make it a PNG so we get the transparency. Hit save. Now I've got my image of text. So now what I'm gonna do is just create another box. Now here's my image box. I'm going to make sloppily make this a little bit bigger than it probably needs to be. And I'm going to move my text here off to the clipboard. Now I'm going to place in here my text image that I just made. And now I like to use these tools up here that allow me to fit the box and the content to each other. So I'm going to say fit frame to content. Now you can see my frame got exactly as wide as it needed to be to fit this text. And because I want this to pan, and I want this to pan up and down, I'm going to make the container box shorter than the actual text itself. Now all I do is check the pan, and we'll save this and call it Test2. And let's get our reviewer going again so that we can see how this looks on the actual device. All right, back up and running. And let's fast review this out to our device. Here you can see my text, and I can scroll up and down. Now, if I had made the box itself narrower as well, I would get panning in both directions. You can see there, I'm panning in both directions. So if you only want to pan in one direction, make sure that the box is the right height for the image container in the direction you don't want it to pan, and smaller in the direction you do want it to pan. And again, the fit frame to content can be a useful tool there to make sure it's exactly the right size, then just make it shorter or narrower as you need it to be. And that's panning.